welcome to Wellness Wednesday. We continue today with Ryan, who will take us through a PT session. So over to you, Ryan. Thank you. Cheers, Kate. Thank you. Hello. How are we doing? We're back again. This time you've just got me on my own. No, little little Daisy. Although I kind of miss her being there, to be fair. Um, I'm sure you will. Um, but you know, we'll carry on as we always have done, and you can have me instead of this wonderful half an hour or so. Today, we're going to do something a lot more structured, more strength based, you know, squatty, pressy type stuff, okay? Just to make sure we're ticking all those boxes and keeping the strength going because it's super important. Um, want to try and do most of that sort of stood up using maybe a wall for some assistance if we can, but the chair can be used, okay? As always, I try and make adaptations for the chair, and the chair can also be used as a, a makeshift wall for some of the moves. I just like to point out today, if you've seen my t-shirt, look at this. My pumping marvellous. I've joined the global race to beat heart failure. So I hope you're all doing it. Is it on the back? Oh, there is look. There you go. So I hope you're joining up into that race. You know, it's a big, long, long race to get around the world and raise some good awareness, which is number one important, but then also some money to help with the cause as well. So, you know, join up, be a part of it, get on board. That's what we all want. Okay, quick, quick nutrition bit um, before we get exercising, because I'm appreciate it a few minutes later into the session today um, is I wanted to touch on alcohol and it can be <laughs> touch on a touchy subject you know because um, you know a lot of people out there great lovers of it and nothing wrong with that okay nothing wrong with liking a bit of alcohol and stuff um, it's a pleasurable pastime nowadays but the reason why it came to my mind is um, thinking about the lockdown being eased and I know since the to be the 12th of April, which is only just what a week ago, just over a week ago. We can go and meet up in gardens, we can go and meet up outside at pubs, and generally, this sort of gathering will probably encourage some extra drinking. You know, it's got a good chance that it might encourage that. So, I thought just a nice little time just to have a little reminder of why we should just keep in how much we're having. Okay, now, don't know out there knows what the limit is. But the, the limit set here in the UK, the sort of national limit, is 14 units a week. I'm going to think this up. <laughs> 14 units a week, okay? Male or female, okay? There's no difference in them, okay? There used to be more for men, less for women. Now it's 14 units each. And that really should be spread out over around about three sessions, okay? Or well, the three occasions. Occasions. It sounds better than that. Session sounds like you have to get completely well in, doesn't it? Um, yeah. So over three occasions, okay? So... Thinking about that then, you're talking about what, three units, three to four units per time, just to make it a bit more spread out, okay, and do your body some good. So, just a little reminder, okay, why do we need to keep a control on alcohol, okay? And thinking about heart failure, you might have heard stuff like, oh, I've been told a little bit of red wine is good for your heart. Now, there is some evidence around that, okay, but it's been more and more disproven as it's gone along and showing that the risks of alcohol massively outweigh any benefit okay and uh, to be honest with you that some of the more darker red deep red deep purple grapes will give you some of that benefit anyway um and the one that they've recently said in the studies is the the red wine one which obviously says a benefit to heart health um uh, is only really affecting select women sort of mainly women 55 really and then it's still way below that 14 units okay so let's put that to one side and i'm a big encourager of saying don't drink it for a health benefit, okay? Because it's it, it, the other stuff in it outweighs that, okay? It outweighs that. So let's not drink it as a health benefit. If you don't drink, you don't need to start drinking to give yourself that health benefit. We're better off working our way to be sure we're at 14 units or less, okay? And that's where we want to go. Because the other things that alcohol um, causes risk of is weight gain, high in calories, okay? Very high in calories, liquid calories, easiest to digest, quickest to pile on without getting full, okay? There's a secondary effect from drinking it that it makes us want to eat more food, usually savoury um, in particular. So that's why, you know, your pubs will stock your nuts, pork scratchings, crisps and things like that. Or you might be tempted to go for a takeaway on the way home. Or maybe it's the day after when you have a cooked breakfast. But they're there, aren't they? It's there. And that, again, adds to a big chunk. So weight gain-wise is one of its big problems, okay? It's really easy to put lots of weight on from alcohol. Um, your next thing is, the health risk it causes on the inside. So it does give you more risk of diabetes, okay? Um, it does give you a higher risk of heart disease, particularly if you drink in excess all the time. So if you're re regularly drinking over 14 units, 
you are, you know, put yourself much more at risk. And let, let's get it now. The, the new ruling is saying there is no safe limit anymore. They don't say drinking less than 14 units is a safe limit of alcohol. Drinking less than 14 units classes a low risk level of alcohol, okay? So let's just make sure that's right in the right terms so you can see they're never saying, oh, if you only have this many units, that's going to be safe. It's under there, you're lower risk, okay? Which means you're low risk of getting the other stuff. What else have I got? I had to look at a list because there were a few more things that I didn't realise about. They said, high risk of cancer, and it was mouth, throat, and breast cancer. I didn't get that. Higher risk of stroke, heart disease, liver disease, obviously liver disease, uh, and, and brain damage. So there's quite a lot of things there that it can, can affect. And some of the worst things are having those binge sessions as well. Try not to have a binge session. Okay? If you do drink alcohol daily, try and keep it to maybe that one glass. So you're staying like two to three units max. Yeah. And have an alcohol-free day, okay? Give yourself a day off. And, okay, it'll do you good. So a few of the little dangers, but it doesn't mean you can't drink it, okay? But try to stay within that 14 units. Um, if you find that you're a lot above it, bring it down gradually. You know, set yourself a target. Say, all right, I'll drop down to 21 units to start with, and then I'll go a bit further once I've got used to that. Because, you know, drinking can be quite addictive in its own way. It can be used in a lot worse ways, can't it, as well? Prediction. But um, you get used to your comforts and you've got to work. It's a habit like any other habit, okay? Bring it down nice and steady. And then reap the benefits from it, okay? From having it lower and still have enough to enjoy it. So you'd have to go out. You'd have to bring this out in the corner going, no, I can't drink at all. Um, you can do it. Obviously, you can make the choice of drinking on. It's really easy to um, to make that decision if you want to do it. Doing it, not quite easy, but you can get there, okay? To bring it down, keep it within the limits, and we're winning. Okay, does that sound all right? So we've got to enjoy meeting people. Go enjoy them. Go find them. Go see them again. Go meet in those gardens, those beer tents, or wherever it is you're going to go. And enjoy a company that we haven't seen for a while, but make it about the company, okay? So you're getting together because you haven't seen each other for ages. So make it about that and have a couple of drinks maybe just to go with it rather than it being like, oh, let's go get drinking because we can. Let's make it about people, okay? That's much, much better. Let's start the exercise. Got your water? I always like to say we've got a water. Have a quick sip. We're going, I'll get up on my feet. You can either get to your chair or you can stand up by the wall, whichever way you're doing it, okay? Let's go with it. And I shall model my pumping marvellous global global race to beat heart failure t-shirt. Just to get them promoted, okay? Because we're trying to get people on board. <laughs> so a quick drink to start with, that's what I always say. We'll go through our usual warm-ups, um, get ourselves on top of things. Remember, pretty much most of these things can be done sitting down, but if you can today, stood up will be better, okay? Because I want to be able to use the wall for some of the moves. Some of the wall moves I'll demonstrate from my door because you can see the side action, okay? But you sort solid. And I know there's nobody else into this. That door's not going to get opened on me and cause a big problem. So we should survive. So first of all, you know we like to start this with a little bit you of know, a march on the spot. So let's get that marching going. Remember, if you do have to be seated for whatever reason, you can still march from there, okay? But I'm going to try and stand up, okay? We have a chair-based class after mine, don't we, which you can do if you're really, really strong with the chair. So let me try and give more stood up moves too okay try and bring a little bit of variety to it okay remember the rules um make sure you're clear by your health professional so that you're safe to exercise you've gone through your main levels and they said yeah you're okay you can go do some gentle exercise which is what we're doing and we'll feel great from it yeah the benefits are always going to be there work within your own ability work to your own strengths your own intensity levels that you can manage and within your own range of movement, okay, which could be quite different, you know, mine, anybody else's, yours, maybe here, maybe there. I don't know, whatever's going on, let's work towards it. Okay, let's just pick that up a little bit more now, knees a little bit higher, a bit more with this. Still do that while you sat down as well, this one. So remember, we'll be working to that RPE scale, which you'll have heard of if you've been through this sort of cardiac rehab stuff, or you've been to one of these sessions. <laughs> Uh, not to 10, remember, not is nothing. 10 is everything. Doing about three or four. Still can hold this conversation. But breathing a little bit harder. And maybe getting a little bit, bit, bit warmer. Maybe a little bit of a sweat on. But we can still have a chat. Maybe a breath every five or six words. Okay? Sounds good. So breathe nicely throughout. No breath holding in any moves. We don't need that. And just enjoy yourself. So don't forget that smile. Okay, I always like to be smiling. It's a good thing to do. 
Okay, so we're going to bring those feet back to a, a walk on the spot again. And while they're walking, today we're going to go with our old friend, the arm circles. But we're going to start here and we're going to circle them forwards, small. Small circles forwards, yeah? Just because I was just what I mean, what direction I'm going. Okay, while walking, circle forward, getting bigger, bigger. As long as you can, okay? Just go as big as you can manage. And then if you can, all the way across in, in the middle. If you can do it, okay? Work to your abilities. Okay? Again, on the chair, the cross in the middle might be a little bit higher because you have to not hit your knees. That chair needs to come over here so I can do that. <laughs> That's better. Okay, so we're going. And pause. Breathe. This time we're going to reverse that, but we're going to go big circles. Going backwards. And we're going to completely flip it <laughs> by going backwards, but again, a little bit smaller. So sort of medium circles. You can see we'll go backwards there. Yeah. To small. And the small and fast. Ooh, a little fast ones, a little fast ones. And down. Oh, let those arms have a little sway. Just let them relax. Still matching on the spot, keeping it going. Slowly raising that heart rate, slowly getting that breathing a bit harder. Getting that blood flow all around the body. Feeling good, yeah? I hope you're feeling good. So let's get some movement going this way. So let's do this again. Let's go a little bit different on this one. So let's go one arm up and down. Alternate it. So we're going to swing those arms one at a time. Reaching them up, okay? Yeah, a little side view for you. Seated, you're okay again. Just watch that you've got chair sides. You're okay if you, if you haven't got chair sides, you're okay. If you've got chair sides, you have to come down to a bent arm, okay? So you have to go. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. Anybody who's got balance issues and wants to stay stood up can do this one arm at a time. Just maybe do three or four, swap it, and do three or four. Using the wall to hold on to for a bit of stability. Okay, I'm gonna go back to alternate again, just to bring the last few in. And then, and down. Okay, we're doing well, still walking on the spot, still moving. We're gonna move the legs sideways a bit, because you know it's important that we do that. But we're gonna warm the chest up at the same time. So we're gonna do this as a bit of a special move. So hands are gonna go together, feet together, which is a bit further on the chair. We're gonna go same side, arm and leg goes out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. You get me now, yeah? <laughs> I'll keep saying out, in, because it'll sound like I'm a stuck record. But we're going, we're going, keep going, keep going. If you sat down, remember, nothing different there. Apart from your legs bent. <laughs> you could straighten your legs actually want to, though. But you might need to sit closer to the edge of the chair to make it feel smooth. So we're doing good. Both of you make sure you've got enough room in your space, <laughs> not hitting any walls, floors, people, pets, <laughs> whatever else is roaming around the room. Um, I know the, the fun of exercising at home means you can get those type of things happening. And today I'm pretty free. Kids are back at school. Everybody else is doing something else. So it's all for me today. That's very nice, isn't it? Or maybe I'm lonely now, lonely now. <laughs> I just know that I've got some of you guys out there. That'll make me feel good. Okay, just a couple more. Okay, into the middle, down. Walking those feet again. It's nice, you get a nice little bit of that movement going both ways. Going both ways. So I'm going to flip you to the side to show you doing now. We're going to just kick. Stand still, stand still and do this one, okay? Stand still first. Kick towards the bum, kick towards the bum. Kick towards the bum. Kick towards the bum. Hold the wall if you need to. Yeah, I'm gonna use my door, my door tool. There you go. You can do it this way if you wish. You can even do it by holding onto the back of a chair. I know that needs turning. But if you sat down, a little bit harder, but if you've got a back like this one, kick back, but make sure you don't kick anything in the way. If you really haven't got that room, you can move to the side, one leg, swing it backwards. Just make sure you get a pull through, because what it's doing is, when you're doing this movement, it's your quadriceps here. I get a nice big stretch. It makes them feel ready, ready for action. Which is what we want. 
So you see this, this can be moved into a full-blown exercise by sort of picking up the pace. So it's um, a movie you may have seen before. Heel flicks normally gets referred to as. As I've learned, being in the exercise field for a few years and stuff, that people call things all sorts of stuff, including myself. I need to make my own name for everything, I think. That'll be more fun, won't it? Okay, almost there. And down. Uh, okay, we're going to move that to the other side. Let's have to bring the knees right up this time. Okay, up towards the hands. Look at that height. How's you can manage? Yeah. Well, as you can manage, you don't really need to go any higher than your belly button. Depends on where your belly button is, doesn't it? Should we go with a 90 degree angle instead? <laughs> yeah, again, you could do it while holding on. Just make sure you've got enough space so you don't need the wall. And if you sat down, just get them up as high as you can. If you've got a bit more gut, do the wider so you go down the side of it. <laughs> I know that happens sometimes. Some of us have worked to lose, some of us don't. So we have to work to both sides. Always hard to these big moves, aren't they? But this time, see, we're stretching out our bum and now our hamstrings are getting a nice little stretch. So your glutes and your hamstrings. Always lovely. Okay, a few more, some more tiring. And down. Okay, let's have a drink before we move into some more of these strength based moves. Do you like that? That's for strength. <laughs> okay. Am I watching saying something to me? Saying, you're moving, hooray, fine. <laughs> I haven't had as much movement today as I normally have. Yeah, tells me off. Okay, let's start with our big old favorite friend. The squat, okay? Sit to stand. I think using a chair is probably one of the best ways we could do that right now. But you don't have to if you don't want to. So I'm going to put the chair sideways. I'm going to stand my feet sort of hip width apart, maybe just a bit wider. And my heels touching the chair legs. Or the back of my legs touching the edge of the seat. So I'm in a good position. I'm going to keep my chest upright. So none of this going on. So shoulders back, chest upright. You can bring the hands up to give it a bit extra. And then we're going to do this move by taking the hips, that's this here. Or if you think about it differently, your bum back. So you take your hips back or stick your bum out, yeah? Like that. So we do it. And the knees just bend naturally, okay? So take your bum back to your land. Push off the heels, hips forward. So going back to landing, drive the heels in and push the hips forward. So if you can do this with your hands, you're doing fantastic. If you need your hands, that's also okay. But what I would try and do is, you maybe use them to help you get up, but on the way down, try to control it, because you're going to flop to the chair. Now, if you don't want to use a chair, feel free to do that from here, and go to whichever depth you can. Ideally, getting towards about parallel with the floor is best, but if your muscles are a bit tight, here is also good. But I'm going to stick with a chair today. I think a chair one's a good one, okay? It encourages good form, takes away the fear, nowhere to fall to, and breathe, okay? So breathe in, and out. In, and out. See? If you need to, you can have another chair in front of you to hold on to if you need extra balance. That's also okay. Um, things like that are brilliant, okay? Use whatever you need. To help you get through it, and as you get stronger, take a little bit away, and you will get stronger, I promise. But you've got to be consistent, okay? So you could do this, I don't know, three times a week, maybe two or three times a week, you'd find improvements. So we're doing good, do another one, and then breathe. What's nice about that? You can sit in your chair and go, hmm, well, I might as well rest. I will just sit here and take life a little bit easier. It's funny actually, because things are opening back up, um, I went to Ponderosa Zoo, I don't even know that, it's more local to where I am, it's over in, in West Yorkshire, and it's one in a um, little place called Heckman Bike, and Ponderosa used to be a farm, but it's expanded to a zoo, and obviously the outdoor parts now are open, so we took the uh, children there, and they have a, a lemur walkabout, really just been brand newly built, and you walk and the lemurs are all free to run around you. You know, those big ringtail lemurs from the old uh, Madagascar films. You know, I like to move it, move it. That's all I can think about when I see them now. 
But honestly, one of them was sat on the floor, leaning up against the post, and its legs are out flat like this, crossed, and its arms here. It was nodding off. And it, honestly, just like a little human, made me, laugh, <laughs> made me laugh so much. That just reminded me of it, so I thought I'd share. Okay, we're going to go into these squats again. So if you want a little bit more challenge, what I say is, you don't let your bum cheeks lightly touch the chair. So as you go back, go down slowly, touch. In fact, because of the length of this chair, it's my back of my thighs that touch first. So even go with that. So you can go with, as soon as you feel back of the legs touching the back, the, the base of the chair, the seat, come back up. So you're not actually sitting now, taking a pause at the bottom. If you need to sit and stop, perfect. Just do that as well, okay? Both are good. This is an extra challenge for those who have got a little bit more strength and mobility. So breathe it in. And out. In, hips go back. Out, hips come forward. This is the action of a squat. It's backwards and forwards of the hips. It's not up and down. Backwards, forwards. Breathing in. Breathing out. Keep it going. Arms up to help you keep your chest up, that's all. You can bring them in a bit if you need to. I find this helps you. Stay there. One more time. And this time we're staying up. Okay. Good work. Squats. Big old exercise, yeah. Working most of the legs. Oh, it's a good time for a drink. Most of the legs. Maybe it doesn't hit the hamstring as much as the other muscles. So, hence for that, we're going to do a hamstring exercise next. And we're going to do the one I've done with you quite a few times because I still think it's one of the best to do over over camera. <laughs> okay. Which is holding the back of your chair, alternatively a wall. And that is your leg nice and straight with your toes pointing forward, keeping them there all the time. So don't angle your foot, keep your toes forward. So they stay like that. Can you see that there? 90 degrees still at the bottom. And then with one leg only, one side at a time, we're going to sit on one side. We kick it back so we can feel it squeeze in the hamstring or in the bum. Yeah, keeping ourselves up. We're not leaning forward with it. Body staying still. Leg goes back as far as it can. Comes back slowly. So back. Back slowly. So we breathe it in. Release. This one's one of those exercises that's quite a challenge to do from sat down for money. So there isn't really a great version to do. If you keep doing that, I'll just quickly show a seated version for anybody who well, has to be sat down. And it's basically working from a different angle. So from here, leg straight, toes up, back, back, and then moving in. You feel a stretch, come back. You'll feel it in your hands, come back, yeah? It's like a small rocking motion. It's probably the best alternative you can do to this move. Okay, so if you're still doing that, keep going. Don't worry about the number of reps. We're doing this to a timing. <laughs> and I've still got back in to get to the end of it. Okay. And stop. Okay. Nice big breath. <sighs> Holding on again. Onto the other leg. Same thing. Remember, get those toes forward. And back. Feel that squeeze. Come down. That's it, squeeze and come down. So you see what we're doing today is we're working through the major muscle groups, doing these compound exercises. We made the warm a little bit more elaborate. So we've got some cardio work going on. And got the body moving through all its different angles, different planes, if you like, you know, forward, side to side. They have fancy names, which you probably don't know them. <laughs> Not many people do. When you start talking about the frontal and the sagittal and stuff like that. Let's talk in English. <laughs> On my version of English, which is Yorkshire English. Which I'm told is the God's language. <laughs> okay, almost there. A few more seconds. We should get a good squeeze. Squeeze one more in and down. Okay, shake those legs off. It works really well. I feel like hard working legs. Okay, how are we feeling? Good, I hope. I think we'll be feeling good. 
So I want to keep it. I feel like that's great for the legs. Okay, we're doing a lot of work on the legs. We could maybe do a little bit more on the calves, but let's get the other moves done. And if it's time, we'll come back and finish the calves, okay? But they have worked during those squats and that, those uh, kickbacks. Yeah, where's it gone? <laughs> so let's go to the chest, okay? Now, you know one of the best exercises for the chest is simply doing like a press-up, okay? Dead easy. <laughs> Dead easy. Do them all day long. I'm kidding, okay? Press-ups are really, really hard, okay? But we're going to do our variation, okay? So if you've been before, you know, we like to do these off the wall, okay? If you're a bit stronger, you can go to a lower, hard surface. So if you're on the wall, I'll use the door, okay, just to give you a better angle. Hands are placed in line with shoulders, yeah? And probably at a similar height to your shoulders. You don't want them up here or down there, but in line. So nice and in line. But then step yourself back just a little bit so you've got a bit of an angle. Straight body. Try and be on the balls of your feet so they're more like a hinge, okay? Keep all this body here straight and tight. So squeeze your abs if you know how to. And then just let the arms come back, the elbows bend, and push, okay? So let's slide down to the door and push. By swinging your toes, you'll make this harder. If it's too hard, go a little bit closer and go from there. If it's too easy, go a little bit lower, okay? Still too easy, get lower surfaces. This chair probably not the best one, but um, something that's a little bit lower, you can do. Um, there's a table in front of my camera here, which kind of puts it down at this level. So you can do it from there and give you a close-up of a press-up. <laughs> or you can even do them from the floor if you've got the ability, okay? But I'm going to keep you here. That's what I'd like to see you doing. Try to keep looking forward while you're doing stuff, okay? I know I look over to the camera while I'm doing this, but that's because I'm talking to you. You're much better keeping your head nicely in line. It's nicer on your spine. Breathing the same again. So breathing as you're going down. Out as you're going up. Keep going. So you can get four more in there. Anybody who can't get off the chair, okay? Just do the action. But... Make them really pull back with a squeeze, push forward and squeeze. Just like squeeze your pecs, squeeze at the top, okay? Squeeze at the top. Okay, if you can push the little door, get up, finish it. Just give it a little shake off, okay? Because we are going to go back in. If you're on the chair, because I showed you that a bit late, keep going. I just remember from the side, you're going in, squeeze, out, squeeze, squeeze. So it's really squeezing your muscles so they know they're working, okay? So if you're on the chair and you only just started, a couple more. And now, okay. Okay. Catch your breath. We've got another one coming up for the chest. Uh, we're going to add in that little extra bit. In fact, we're going to do this one purely moving because I, I was tempted to do it as a press up and then the fly, but let's do this as a chest fly straight through. So people sat down. I can't be at standing, okay? Hands in that position again. Start them together. Go all the way out wide. And then bring them in. And when you come in, really try and squeeze your chest together, okay? Feel the muscles here, squeeze, okay? Go out, squeeze. Those who can be stood up or leaning, same position we were in, yeah. But instead of pushing, we're gonna keep those arms straight so we can get a bit deep if we can. We're gonna take one arm out, okay, bring it back into the middle, then we're gonna take the opposite side. So we're gonna take a bit extra twist into our move. But when you come in to the middle, squeeze your chest together, squeeze it. Take it out. What we're getting now is a bit of a double movement here because when we pull the arm out, we get some of the back muscles and the shoulders. When we're coming in, we're getting the chest. You know, it's really good. And it gets our back ready for the back exercise. Because <laughs> that's hard, is back exercises are difficult to do without something to pull on. Okay? So. We have got a version, well, I've got a version that you're going to show you, which will help you do your back. But it's not as effective as if you can pull on something, okay? So we're going to keep this going. And this will start hitting our back, but also finish off our chest. Get our arms a bit tired as well, because we're keeping them straight. How are we feeling? How are we feeling okay? It gets a bit harder, this one, as it goes along. And jump, I've realised, because I'm on the ball, I feel we've put ourselves a little calf moving, haven't we? Oh, how lucky. Extra muscles without realising. <laughs> okay, almost there. I'm going to start on this side. So do one more here. Squeeze. One more here. 
big squeeze and bring them off. Oh, shake those arms off. They're probably a bit tired now. Do whatever you want. A little dance and have yourself a little drink of water, okay? Because we have not done with those arms. They're going to have to work our back muscles, okay? Particularly our big lats. So we're going to do this in a, in a different way, okay? A different way. And um, one of the things that gets our lats is bringing our arms down. Yeah? So up and bring them down. So it's always better when it's got a little bit more weight. Because if you see like a, a bar, you'll see people pulling bars down like this. If you see a pull up, you're pulling yourself up like this. Um, you can do it where you have a weight laying down and you pull the weight over you like this. That way, then you'll feel it coming right round here to the sides. So we're going to do our invisible version of that, which means we can do it standing or seated, okay? So to emphasize the back muscles though, what we're going to do is we'll take the arms up here. We're going to make them in fists this time, okay? Fists. Keeping that back straight, we're going to bring them down, push them back, okay? Not going to bend here or anything like that. We'll keep that straight, bring them up gently, push them back and squeeze, leave us the back, try and squeeze them back, like you're trying to squeeze your shoulder blades together at the same time, okay? So easy to do a sat down as well. Arm up to the bit wider though. Keep that chest up. And squeeze those shoulder blades, okay? So we're up, squeeze on the bottom. Up, squeeze at the bottom, okay? Got it? Straight from the front. Up, squeeze at the bottom. So you're squeezing those back muscles, pushing those shoulder blades together. You're really trying to engage that downward movement. Because that's the bit that's going to get them, okay? That's what will bring them in. <sighs> Breathing in. And out. In. And out. The reason why I like the fist is because it just adds more tension to the arms. Makes them more rigid. <sighs> Gets those arms working. Almost there. Last one. Okay, shake them out. <laughs> if you like me, shake your hands because sometimes I find I dig my fingers in quite deep sometimes. I get so tense with those those fists. Those fists, those hands. What am I talking about? Fists. Yes, that's the one. Get so tense with them. Make sure that they're all locked in nice and tight. Okay, back move number one. We're going to do a second one and pretty much going to be the same thing, um, <laughs> same way, blimp, isn't it? Um, what we're going to do this time is, because it's that backwards movement, it's that rowing movement, we're going to do that, we're going to bring rows in, okay? Again, this is quite a good one from a chair, if I'm honest, because um, you can sit down and you can get yourself a little bit here, you can sort of like be a little bit rowing position. So, fist, this way around, okay? Um, like a neutral grip, so not overhand, not under. In the middle, thumbs up if you like. Thumbs up, that's a great way of thinking about it. So shoulders back and then like imagine you're grabbing all something and you're pulling it in, squeezing your shoulder blades, back slowly. Bring them in, go back slowly. Standing, exactly the same. I just like to stand with my legs like that. So I'm not using weight. The important part is that we engage the muscles, really feel them contracting. So you're bringing them back. Squeeze. Relax. Back. Squeeze. Relax. So you're with me? Some big squeezing going on. Just don't blow your heads up. You need to breathe. <laughs> If you want to make this harder and you have access to a resistance band, you can wrap that around a solid object, like the banister of a stairs, a solid one, a very heavy table. Hold them in your hand while they wrap around it and row them in for some extra resistance, okay? Always a good thing to do. But we'll, because we're not using weight, we're just doing a few more reps to make sure we get the work out of it. But I'm sure you're feeling it. If you're using the tensity, you will feel it. Keep that tension. 
Let's get two more in. One more. And down. Woo. Yay. That was good. That's good. Honestly, tension to contraction and contracting your muscles makes them work so much harder. Okay, you kind of work through all the body. Maybe not hit this torso just as much. So let's get one more moving, okay? Before we stretch, <laughs> okay? So let's get a rotation moving. Okay? Let's get some rotation going here. One way you can do this is by standing by the wall, with your feet to it. It's quite, I quite like this version of it. And we would imagine maybe there's a, a dot sort of following from your eye line out to the wall over there and one out to over there. You're going to, do is you're going to take this arm, turn and reach for it, okay? But you're going to try and keep your bum to the wall, okay? It will come off a little bit, but try and keep at least one cheek, <laughs> one cheek on the wall. Cheeky. Bring it around, touch, come back. Bring it around, touch, come back. Touch, come back. Keep it going, okay? Because if you sat in a chair, get your chair by the wall. Touch, come back. Touch, come back. But try to have your back nice and straight. So you're doing this. Don't be like this. Uh, be up, because uh, your back will not thank you for it later. So nice and straight. That's it. I'm going to move your head. Breathe in. So not a reason to hold your breath. Okay, keep it going. You'll be feeling that core kicking. Breathe if you need to for a second. But this is our finishing move, okay? We're not going to do two sets. <laughs> We're going to do one big one. So let's keep it going, okay? Let's touch a bit lower now. Try and touch by the waist height. By the waist. By the waist. Got it. Doing well. Okay, in line with the chest now. Try not to get too dizzy. You can keep your head still if you want. <laughs> You get dizzy doing moves like this. And then we're going to try and reach up and get one up there just above the head. I'll hit the poster. <laughs> reaching up, reaching up. Keep it moving. Okay, lower it back down. In line with the chest again. For three, two, and one. Ah, shake it all off, okay? Doing really good there. Let's have a little bit of a shake off. Fabulous work, okay? But let's just put in a few stretches to take us two minutes. Um, but that core move will help to slow down. So let's not worry too much about keeping those legs moving. Let's get ourselves stood nice and straight. In fact, let's go back to the wall and let's see if we can do a fancy leg stretch. Ooh, can we do it? Remember, you can only be pants if you can't reach as high, uh, as low. Which way down am I looking at there? Or higher up if you want, just so you get a little pull. But if you can't do that at all, you can just maybe lean forward. Just give your leg a little stretch, okay? Swap sides, let's do the other one. So I can bring mine all the way nowadays. Not always like that though, I must admit, so it gets better. Okay, leg it down. Hamstring stretch, one of my favorites. Feet together, nice and straight. Arms up here, looking up, let's get them higher. Bum goes back on its own, just the bum. And then the hamstrings come in. Keeping those arms nice and high so it stays on your hamstrings. Don't want to bend the middle or so we'll lose the tension. Still breathing, We're stretching. Look at this combination stuff we're doing here, it's fantastic. Hips go forward, arms go all the way up. Got them up there for a nice stretch into the back. Because we're doing a bit of sideways work while we're up here, let's just have a little lean to the side. Okay, and breathe, breathe all the way through. Lean to the other side. Back up straight, just bring those arms wide. And then actually let's go from here, hands, palms forward, push them right back. Like that. Like we're on the front of a Rolls Royce vehicle. Remember that icon? <laughs> Seeing away with the wind in our hair. Okay, relax those. And just to finish, let's do a really nice, let's just bend down a little bit with your arms together, okay? Let's breathe in. And out, all the way back down. Okay, and breathe in. 
and out. In. Stay at the top this time. Legs together and out. Finish how you mean to be, okay? Good posture and good work. So, lots of good work there. All very strength-based, okay? Working those muscles, building them up, keeping them useful, keeping them usable, keeping them good for later in life. Remember, with muscles, the phrase, if you don't use it, you lose it, is bang on, okay? If you don't use them, the strength will go away, okay? The muscles will deteriorate. Let's keep them strong. Let's keep them active. You'll be able to do a heck of a lot more, okay? Quality of life, number one. Let's get it right. Okay, if we're doing well, keep focusing. And next Wednesday, we'll be a little bit different. You will. Thank you very much for today's session, Ryan. I love your T-shirt. And we will see you next Thank week. Thank you. Promoted it. Let's go. <laughs> Take care. Um, see you later. Thank you.